And also, it's like when Sam said, trust me seven times in a row, and I was like, somehow I don't trust you. Yeah. And Maria's saying it doesn't bother her like seven times yeah. in a row. I'm like, I feel like it bothers you, though. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Memory Ash. I'm Ashley. I'm Mitch. And we're watching Love is Blind UK episode eight. Guess who's back? I don't know. I have no idea. Tosh. Oh, yeah. Sam. Oh, Tasha and Sam. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. They're the two that I'm most worried about. They're the only ones really to worry about. Yeah, everybody else I think was fine. I did want to say I meant to mention this last time and then just forgot because there was so much going on. But someone had said in the comments that uh, in regards to Freddie crying, I had been a little bit like, I hope this isn't manipulative. And someone came in the comments and said, um, you know, we should really like be normalizing and like supporting and being okay with men crying. And I actually really agree with that. I've unfortunately had some experiences, not actually with men, but with women, <laughs> um, like crying is a, I don't know if I want to say a tool of manipulation, but in ways that ends up being manipulative. Or effectively. Yeah. Yeah. Like getting out of right. accountability. Yeah. Or, yeah. Avoiding accountability yeah. or pushing it back on someone else. So yeah. if someone brings something up to them and says, this was hurtful for me, that other person crying. I'm and, hurt that you're offended. Yeah, right. That kind exactly. Of thing. So I've had some bad experiences with that. But I actually absolutely agree that we should be normalizing more men crying. And it doesn't feel, the more we see a Freddy, the less it feels like that yeah. is even a possibility. So We talked in the car earlier, too, and I think that I think it's possible that him being a funeral director and working with people that are in heightened emotional states all the time makes him potentially more like emotionally in tune with himself or normalizing, like, like feeling your full range of emotions. Um, and so him just being in touch with that, Part and feeling more able to cry openly um, might just be who he is. You yeah, know? So absolutely. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we don't see him doing really anything wrong. So. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate anyway. the extra kind of context and reminder that, like, we live in a society in general that doesn't isn't very supportive of men having, uh, like, outward displays of emotion, and that's really not fair. Like, it ends up being a bad thing for everyone that we don't support men experiencing the same range of yeah. emotions so thank you for thank your comment you. i appreciate it on that note let's uh let's hop into the episode all right let's do it i'm a lot more comfortable at this stage yeah hearing your mom and dad giving support all things are going well the only the the, the big curveball right here is the sam connection yeah and absolutely. what that'll do <laughs> i like you <laughs> i like y'all <laughs> they have such a good vibe together i really hope that whatever weirdness went on with sam doesn't like yeah completely derail this. I've got a question, I mean, about Sam. I don't think I could hold back if I saw him. It's telling how mad Benaya is because he seems like a very low-key guy. Yeah. And he really does not like Sam. And now that he feels like he finally has Nicole in his life, he's like, F this guy. I'm trying to think about it because I think about it, it just gets me very upset. Oh yeah, he's getting very upset. You can tell his whole demeanor has yeah. shifted. His face, his eyes, I think he might be... Oh, wow, he's mad. Yeah. Jeez. I didn't even know he was capable of getting that mad, honestly. Mm -hmm. He's not really taken out on her, but he's no. got a lot of emotions right there. You can there. tell, yeah. yeah. It's just, like, oh, really wow. messing him up. Wow. I'm not looking forward to when Sam tries to talk to him when they're all together. That, yes. like, clip of him. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking forward to that at all. So when Ollie's rushing to get ready, how does a sock end up in a toilet, please? Ew! What? what? Ew, dude! The toilet etiquette <laughs> on this season is just wild. Yeah, it's out of control. How does it suck get in the toilet? I don't... I've, I've been using the toilet for 37 <laughs> years and I've never put a sock in it. My phone fell in one time. Oh! I know. It was like, Did honestly, you wash it? Yeah, of okay. course. I had to take it out because I had a case. So I had to take the case off. Yeah. I took the phone off. I had to wash both of those and then let them dry. It was horrible. Oh, wow. It was gross. I haven't really spoken to the other couple since the retreat, so it'll be nice to catch up, have a few drinks. Oh, the first post-retreat meetup. Yeah. So this is where, like, everyone is going to show up, too. Are you sure? I believe so, yes. I believe, like, all the singles will be here, mm. too. And that's then what causes drama. Oh. Oh. Super all love right. That. All right. I think they just like understand each other a lot better now. And... Yeah, they do. I even said about sexy underwear. I was like, all the girls have bought sexy underwear. And I was like, I haven't. And he was like, Catherine, you could walk past me butt naked and I wouldn't even yeah. realize. So she's, I think we've already talked about, she has like abandonment issues potentially on top of the fact that she has 
um, like issues with previous cheating boyfriends, and she doesn't feel wanted enough. Yeah, I'm hearing that, and I can, I can recognize that. She did just say too. She's like, it's because I'm not feeling confident in yes. myself, and you can kind of see that. Mm -hmm. There was someone in there that I had a really good connection with, Tash. No, oh, I'm worried about that. Yeah, I'm worried about. Because Tom is worried about it too, and so Ollie had to face it already because he already Ollie's had to. Good. Because, so yeah. he's fine now yeah. because he already had to meet Cat. He already went through the awkwardness, went through the weird feelings. Tom hasn't had that opportunity because he mm. hasn't met Tosh yet. Yeah, I don't think a girl, another girl, could catch my interest okay. at this point. If I'm being real. Oh, oh yeah! That's All right. Sweet. He's showing up pretty good now. Dude, he's showing up great. Hi, Bobby. I'm Tosh. No way. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? You all right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tom's looking over there. Uh-oh. Genuinely. This is so funny. I'm Tom. Hi, Tom. I'm Tosh. I mean, it's, 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 it's normal to, to greet and chat with people. It's also normal to feel uncomfortable when you're seeing your partner doing that, especially when you know that they were a strong other choice. It would be uncomfortable. It doesn't bother me one bit seeing Tasha with dog. Okay, Maria. Lies. It just doesn't bother me. Like I, okay, I see what she means. She's not like bothered. It is a little uncomfortable though. Yeah. So it just doesn't bother me. Also, it's like when Sam said, trust me seven times in a row. And I was like, somehow I don't trust you. Yeah. And Maria's saying it doesn't bother her like seven times yeah. in a row. I'm like, I feel like it bothers you though. But really and truly, there's only one person I want to go home with tonight. I'm really happy. It's like the old Demi's back. That's great. Oh, and then sh they said old Demi's back. They yeah. feel like she's confident and feeling good about it. You know, there was, okay, let's all address. There was weirdness. There it was, was weird. discomfort. It there was. was. It was uncomfortable. Showing up in not the best ways. And now they're like secure, comfortable. They're yes. like, like hearing him validate her to other people now. Whereas before he was like, I don't know. It feels like there's vibes with Kat. None of that's happening anymore. No. He is a supportive partner. Okay, okay baby. And, and they're being so lovey affectionate now. And they're having PDA in front of people. And you don't, and I think that we, some people have mentioned this, you don't need to have PDA to be in a Aww. good relationship. Like, you and I used to have a ton, and then we really yes. scaled it back we as we got older back. in our yeah. relationship. So we don't do a lot of PDA anymore. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. Like, it's nice seeing them that way, and they both express feeling more comfortable. They look, and, like, they're standing together, talking to people together, yes. laughing together. It was so uncomfortable on the honeymoon where they like were separate. with other people, but they they were like completely separated from each other. They barely yeah. talked to each other when they did. One of them was walking away all the time. Mm. Oh God, there's Sam. It's ah. funny how they intro, they, they bring in certain people at different times. I want, I bet they almost have them like come show up now. <laughs> there's you know? like a backstage. Yeah, and like, yeah. Go out, go, right, go, go, go. Because <laughs> the way Sam's cruising in uh -huh. here, you know? You know? Did you see Catherine? Oh, was she like, I am She Sam. said, Sam looks like my ex-boyfriend. And she was like, what? Uh, How are you going to pick Sam over Freddy? She did date Sam for a minute. That she, wasn't like an immediate breakup. Do you know what I heard? What? Like, this isn't, this is a spoiler, like real, I'm bringing, I'm talking about real life for two seconds, but it's not really a spoiler, but apparently Catherine, none of the girls from the cast follow her and she doesn't follow any of the girls Who? from the cast, Catherine. Okay. But she does follow Sam on Instagram. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. Mm I don't like it. What is but I want them to be cool with me. I don't want to hear things that have been bad. You know, there's nothing bad to be said. Yeah, but Benaya doesn't like him and he hasn't liked him the whole time. I mean, like, they just don't get along. They were it, never friends. Right. It's not, I don't know. I don't think there's a world where they would be friends, frankly. They're just very different people. Like, Sam's presence irritates Benaya. Well, not just for no reason, because he saw, yeah. he heard him say really shitty things. Absolutely. And he was very affected by the about stuff somebody that Benaya was about. saying. Yeah. yeah. That is or, now I'm sorry, his fiance. Sam was saying. Yeah. Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. It's good. actually really good to see everyone. I feel like Nicole's customer servicing him right now. Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? I just wanted to know today that, you know, was it a mistake and I was kind of misled, or did you genuinely not know at that point that actually Benaya was the guy for you? I don't feel like him asking these questions is inappropriate. As yeah. much as I hate Sam, I feel like he's coming at it pretty okay. Yeah, no, I hear you. And he is trying to understand because he, he got dumped. Yeah. And he's 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 all over the place, honestly, in a, in a big way. Remember, you wanted you to know, be physical like, with yeah, me, and I'm I said no that night. Are you feeling weird right now? Yeah, I'm feeling very weird. There was just something missing. 
because I didn't want to be physical with you. She didn't feel any chemistry. Yeah. From an observer's perspective, I feel like it started a lot more before there was a physical care chemistry type moment. Is the moment they saw each other. The moment that she said yes, she started sobbing in the hallway. Yeah. And people had pointed out she said yes while shaking her head no. Like there was like there was like body word disconnection. I did feel strongly about you in the pod in that moment. Nicole's showing up really well right here. It's almost like he's trying to get it out there that he rejected her. Yeah, right. And like yeah, that, right? Do you know what I'm saying? That's what it feels like to me. And maybe he does need that from like a self-esteem perspective to be like, no, she wanted to have sex with me and I didn't want to. Yeah. And whatever. But I just don't understand really why he, he needs to do that this publicly. That feels like that could have been between like, them. Yeah. Appreciate you. You want to make it go? Thank you so much. Well, I've got makeup on my shirt. No, 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 no makeup. <laughs> it always it's feels all like he's thing. negging her. Do you know what I'm right? saying? Right? It always right? feels like he's... Oh, it's... Like, saying negative things to her and about her, and they're all very slight, and it's hard yeah. to... Yeah. it just builds up into the rapport he has with her, which is not good. It's constant shit. Yeah. Like, now you got makeup on my shirt. Oh, I rejected you. Oh, you got... No, and she's like, but I don't... I don't really wear makeup. She's just like... Right. I felt like she was kind of annoyed by that conversation. Well... If I could read between the lines. Because he's trying to out the fact that she maybe tried to have more of a physical relationship with him. Yeah. And if anything, given what we showed, it may be she was just trying to make it work. Yeah. And see if it was going to work. And then realized, like, there's no physical connection on top of her feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. And you come back saying, oh, everything I had with him was real. Uh, I don't know. Are you forgetting? Her feelings, I think, she felt were real. Yeah. So then Benaya telling her it's not real is not particularly helpful. Yeah, you like Benaya can't say how she felt in a moment. And you could feel for somebody and then you realize they're not somebody you thought they were. You know, I feel like that's almost like what happened here, right? It's difficult for me to accept somebody pulling the wool over the eyes of somebody I care about. Benaya fucking hates Sam. Well, Sam is constantly doing these like minor like jabs. Yeah, jabs. Yeah. And Nicole just really doesn't see it. I feel yeah. like she takes a lot of the blame on herself and is not recognizing that. And then she's constantly like, Sam's a good guy, Sam's a good guy. And Benai is like, I don't think Sam's a good guy. No. I don't think you need to make a big deal on I'm not, babe. I just, I'm great. Let's not do it now. Cat's mad at him. Why? Because he maybe said somebody was attractive, where she said over and over again, that Sam looked just like over and over and over and she over was again. Fixating on it, she was and like then, verklempt. And then when he was affected, then she suddenly like frustrated. Yeah, you're a good-looking guy. I think we'll be fine. I don't intentionally flirt, but I think it could come across as flirting. <laughs> I don't know. Cat. This feels like bullshit and double standards right now for me. He looks just, she's touching him over and over again. Honestly, Kat's showing up like fucking shit right now for me. For me. I need to take a break from the party and go get something to drink. Be right back. Mm. That was the ring. Can I have this ring? <laughs> you got, well, anyway, you got a bigger <laughs> one on there, That's no? the ring I wanted. What an asshole. Oh my what is she God. doing? Oh my God, dude. Kat is what unreal is she doing? right now. She's she's validating a lot of people's like worst fears about her in this moment for me. For me. She's acting like a total fing asshole. You are over in town. 100 percent I, I live in London, so I'm down the road. You know where I'm at. Uh, I know you're fine. I love you. <laughs> Whoa, dude. What is she doing? She's telling him to behave. No, I'm walking away with an engagement ring here. I so actually want his ring, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I have noticed she's chatting to Sam tonight. I want to say, oh, I'm absolutely fine with it. No, you shouldn't say you're fine with it. I would not be Freddy? fine with my partner acting like that. That's wild what she's saying to him. Kat is showing up the worst anybody has on this show so far right now. Right? For sure. Borderline worse than Sam. That was that was nuts why would you do that that was nuts like i'm a huge proponent of like sure her laughing with him fine she doesn't need to be touching sam right now like and that's saying she wants that ring and yeah. shit i mean like oh no that's the ring that i wanted like what are you talking about you're wow. engaged to someone else after she spent the whole night telling freddie he looks just like sam looks just like her ex-boyfriend yeah just like him honestly though like sam wasn't trying to get with cat in that moment cat looked like she was really going at Sam. Yeah. It, I'm not saying it was one-sided, but it was it was 
sort of directional. <gasps> this party is giving me like is... such anxiety. Yeah. I don't like this party anymore. I get now. So we don't have the benefit of like foresight. We only see what we see, yeah. but people have been like, oh, Kat's not showing up good. I, we see it now, yeah, okay? <laughs> yeah. Just because you're a bit of a geek, I thought you might look a little bit more geeky, you know? I promise you that's cool. Oh, there's chemistry between the two of them. There were sure. there was eyes, man. There are eyes for sure. This is getting messy, dude. This is, like, not happening in the way that I thought it would, because I thought for sure, based on the, like, honeymoon trip, based on Corfu, Ollie would Corfu? be the one being creepy and yeah. instead ollie's being great and ollie's anything, a legend seems like he realized yeah. he really loves demi yeah um but like you said though he's been over the hump he yeah, got through he the weirdness he, he saw did. his number two it's true and they squared it out and he walked away and, and he's good. done pretty much everything right yeah since getting off the vacation yeah absolutely yeah absolutely everybody else this is their test he's and like they're failing left and right he's thriving in the like living together yeah, dude. developing a life together zone which actually gives me a lot more confidence yeah. for like their relationship moving forward because that's what their relationship is going to look that's like that's the real day. life being with friends being with family uh -huh. navigating jobs like living together they're doing really good the rest of these people are struggling yeah <laughs> and then like i'm not someone that kind of like just that's it i genuinely really i mean i know i told you i like fall in love with you and i like i meant that when i said it oh <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. You can you can say you can feel however that those feelings are totally valid. She shouldn't be saying that to him unless she's trying to get in, right? <sighs> this show is hard for me because yeah, yeah. listen, they barely realistically Tom and Maria barely know each other. Yes. Do I think Tom should be entertaining it? No, but I don't know if Tasha telling him like, "Yeah, when I told you that I meant it." I don't know how inappropriate I feel like that is. Okay. I don't know. That's a hot take. I know that that's a hot take. But like... I hear what you mean. It's a confusing situation. It's two weeks or so after yeah. they were just dating in a pod. They barely know each other. Yeah. Well, and then and then they he barely stopped talking to Tasha. Yeah. Yeah. And she still has big feelings for him. And that makes sense. Because two weeks is nothing in, in the dating world. It's hard. It would be hard to just immediately snap that mm -hmm. off. It's probably more realistic that you'd have lingering feelings yeah. for a while. Yeah. I don't know, though. It is probably the right thing to do from, like, a decorum oh, no. sense is to not talk yeah. to your ex like the like way that. she talked to him. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot that I want to say. I want to get off my chest. But Naya, Sam, showdown. <sighs> oh, no, I don't like this. Oh, no. This is where Sam's going to tell him that Nicole tried to sleep with him and Benaya's going to be mad. I deeply care and protect about the people I love. I mean, I I'm presume really upset. I'm seeing this side of you, bro. You sound really bitter. He's not bitter. He just doesn't like you. Do you know why I came on the show? Do you know why I came I on the show? I think I've got a good idea. There are two reasons people come on the show. Relationships and fame. Yeah. So if you're saying it's not one, it's the other. Yeah. You're aware when she stayed at mine that she wanted to sleep with me and I said no, yeah. He throws that in just to jab him. I don't appreciate that lack of appreciating you for her or that level of disrespect. Basically, what Banaya said there about him, I feel like is right, that he threw that out as a disrespect to Nicole yeah. to get at Benaya, yeah. which shows that he doesn't give a f about Nicole he, and never did. He did the same thing when he was talking to Nicole. He knew yeah. it was on camera and he yeah. had to make sure that he said it on camera so that people would know. That yeah. was also disrespectful he's to her. He's basically slut shaming her yeah. at a certain point. And he's like, she wanted to bang me and I said no. Yeah. And she had, he, like, he has no respect for Nicole. And he never did. And I think that shows Sam's true character right there. He felt attacked, so he didn't... You know what he did? He didn't attack Benaya back. He attacked Nicole and used Nicole as a way to get at Benaya. Do you have a weird, different feeling? Oh, I feel like it was messed up of Sam to bring that up. I yeah. think that could have stayed between him and Nicole. I think if he really felt... The only way that I feel like that was appropriate to bring up is if he felt like that was like... Nicole was lying to Benaya yeah. and he felt like some kind of responsibility to set the truth straight. But like... I don't really think that it was his. Yeah, I don't like, think he Nicole's not going around being that. like Sam wants to sleep with me. Sam wants to sleep with me. I turned him down. That never happened. Yeah, and that's that's like a record straight setting thing, right? Potentially, but it wasn't yeah, ever what she happened. She didn't do that, yeah. and she didn't deny that there was, was a connection like, between the two of them. She ever. said, "I'm more physical, and yeah. like that's just the way I am." And right. Benaya gets that more. Yeah, she was open about it. Right, but he has to. Uh, Whatever. What did Tasha say to you? She got the big L word out. Oh, Tom's being up front. She said, I love you yesterday. No, that's 
that's not quite right. That's not quite right. It is. What she it said is virtually was, right. No, though. no, 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 okay, no. Okay. What she said was. I, I told you I loved you in the pods, and when I said it, I meant it. And she That's said, "What she said." And she said, "The feelings don't just go away." Yeah. She said, "I have a hard time turning stuff off Absolutely. after it it's gets going." It's been two weeks. No, but my point is that she basically. So I, I hear what you're saying. He he is maybe slightly misrepresenting. I don't think it's on purpose, but yeah. she effectively said, "I I felt like I loved you, and it hasn't gone away." I agree, That's but it's heard. not like she stood at that bar and yeah, she said, "Tom, I love you." I love you. Yeah, I and hear that you. is different. I hear to you. Me. That I is hear different. you, but we're talking about gray areas, right? I now. know we're talking about. I'm just saying to me, those are two different okay. scenarios. All right, and she didn't do that. This is intense, dude. <laughs> I respect Tom for being upfront, though. I do too, and yeah. maybe a slight variation of the exact truth, but he was pretty close to. What I don't happened. think he was like meaning to Deceptive. mislead Maria. Yeah. I just think like in the kind of like game of telephone, it gives a yeah. slightly different impression of what happened. He said some not nice things about you. But actually, I've got nothing to, to prove. I've got nothing to say. Very honestly, let's say she did try to bang him. Like, just straight up, let's have sex. They were together at that point. They were. And she was not with Benaya. Yes. Why does it f***ing matter? It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. They weren't together at that point. And Sam was using that to get at Benaya, and it was so shitty. Some things should be kept private. Whether true or untrue. I agree with Benaya too. Some things should be kept private. And Sam didn't keep those private because he basically wanted to be like, I rejected her. Uh -huh. And that sucks. It's childish. After negging her repeatedly and disparaging her looks. And then he's like, I didn't want to sleep with her, but she wanted to sleep with me. Everything about him was gross towards Nicole. Yeah. I feel like. It was gross. And it sucked because he, he knew the way that that was going to affect Benaya. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to sow those seeds of doubt. Yeah. And that sucks. I don't like that at all. Very frustrating. I used to run to red flags like it was a bunting in the circus. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Steven is nothing but green flags. Yeah, he's been great so far. His friends, too, seemed yeah. great. And they seemed to really care about him. Everything with him has been green flags. <laughs> they're the, but they're the sure couple of the season, I feel like. Yeah, I think so, too. I actually feel like Demi and Ollie might be number two. I feel like Demi and Ollie are going to say yes at this point. I think they are, too. I was really not... For a while, and I'm I I love it. I'm, I'm sports fan, am I? <laughs> yeah. So do you do sports, are they? Yeah, but not. I bet it's not the sports that he likes, though. Yeah. No. So I'm not into football. I'll put it out there now. He showed up really good with her friends too. Really good with her family. Really good They're with her friends. On. Yeah. Like all the real life stuff has gone really well for yeah. them. They can just take another honeymoon somewhere and they can yeah, just be the just two of them and have a great time. Do it better. Right. Yeah. They have to get out like the cute couples out of the way in the middle because mm -hmm. like there's no problems. Oh, yeah, and then like, we'll finish the episode with, like, uh -huh. a blow-up. No problems at all with Sabrina and Steven. No problems right now at all yeah. with Ollie and Demi. Before going on this experiment, I wanted a partner. You're gonna, you're gonna kill me when I say this. What? He has attached to your loves. <laughs> what are you looking at your loves for? It's so I just, weird. This, no, I'm, I, if, if it's I were... such a serial killer trait. If I were Please fixating stop looking on at it, people's earlobes. If I were fixating Please. on it, I would have noticed it way before episode Please eight. stop looking at people's earlobes. I just noticed it. Okay, I just well, noticed you're it. You're going to need to stop noticing it. Okay. I just <laughs> noticed it. Eight episodes. I'm not fixating okay. and it took me eight episodes. You have a few serial killer traits and one of them is like being way too into people's earlobes. I wanted the opportunity to, to relate to him just how seriously I'm taking this whole thing. I like that he's not like afraid of that conversation and he's like, it almost seemed like he was pulling the dad aside. It was at least maybe mutual. Oh no, I'm very in love with Denny. Very in love. I've yeah. been in love with her since the pods. That's great. I'm just feeling like I hear him talk and I see him and Demi, and I'm getting like I'm getting like feelings in my chest. You know, yeah. just the way I he's showing up yes. over and over again. But if they say yes, I I think they'll say yes at this point. I think, and I mean, he said this to Bobby too, but I think he was having doubts on the honeymoon mm -hmm. or discomfort of some kind. Yeah, or discomfort. Yeah. And didn't know what that was. And I mean, you're getting to know a brand new person. Mm -hmm. Like, you're supposed to be fully in love with this person, but you don't even really know how to be around them. Yeah. Because you've just met them. Um, so it's understandable that there was a little bit of awkwardness yeah. there, but it's really nice to see it dissipating and see them yeah. enjoying being around each other and meeting each other's families and well, stuff like that. One thing I'm thinking too is I do think there's weirdness with Kat for a moment, but the ADHD thing could have legitimately, like... It, it, it's not going to present necessarily as much in a conversation through the wall, but when he's in front of her suddenly and he's like learning, he's like, how am I, com how am I going to be comfortable around you? And they talked about her like noticing some of the, some of the, the like behaviors and stuff. And, and then he, he opened up to her. She accepted him fully. Yeah. 
And now it just seems like total love. Yeah. And I do feel like there's potentially been a lot of discomfort around that. I also think that, because it sounds like he was kind of a playboy before this. And yeah. he was like going out to clubs and meeting yeah. women that way. And like doing things with his eyes and not his like he mind said and that. his heart. Yeah. And I think there was probably a disconnect between finding someone that was an emotional and mental fit for him. Yeah. And I think there was a bit of disconnect. And I don't think he ever lied. I think he always found her very attractive. Yeah. Like, I don't think that was a lie. But finding that additional connection once you've had... Finding the physical once you've already developed After the emotional, the emotional. is not normal for him. Because if you're used to going him. physical, yes. then emotional, maybe right. if it lasts long enough, yes. it's a lot different than going emotional and then physical. Right. I'm happy for this all. I'm just happy at the moment, but... Oh. 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 That's so sweet. That's so sweet. The more this goes on and the more I see their relationship like being good, like they, they do kind of remind me of us. Yeah, you know? I agree. But the ADHD is swapped, you know? That's true. You know, so <laughs> So we are both Demi and Ollie in like so slightly different ways. You can see as the comfort between the two of them increases too, it feels like he's more comfortable like yeah. showing that. Yeah. Because I mean, it doesn't and I don't necessarily mean like the full PDA, but just like them like just looking like at hug. each other and yeah. touching each other, the like the contact, the yeah. smile the beaming smiles are yeah. back and all that kind of shit. Like seeing them Which both is happy what is we like saw massive. In the pods before yes. they like met each other. And then there was the awkwardness when they first met each oh, other. Oh god. Oh I hate this. Oh, this song. is how they're ending. This is how they're ending, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. I hate this. This is my least favorite couple. Making me out to be like some demon. I'm not. I no, he's not. don't think he's making you out to be a demon. It worries me that if we were to get married, legally you'll be entitled to, you know, my money. All right. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, oh, my God. We we aren't watching the previews, actually. Somebody mentioned Yeah, the we're last trying one. to avoid... We usually watch them. Well, but... if the episodes aren't already out, we'll watch That's the previews. True. That's but true. But since they're out, we're trying to just watch them episode by episode, which has seemed to be stressful for some people because they don't Including realize us. that we don't have yeah. all the information. So yeah. sometimes when we're reacting, it's like... It's, it's just myopic, to this. Right, bit. exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think it's tough if you've seen all of them yeah. to, like, separate out the episodes so you get, you know more than we do. Uh, that, I don't know. So that the uh, episode was a roller coaster. Where do you want to start? Freddy and Cat, I suppose. Most recent. I feel like he approached it carefully. And honestly, I, I'm trying to struggle to see if he said anything wrong. He's like, he's even like, would you be offended if we were to, like, sign something that said it would go to my sister? And then, like you said, the implication to take care of his brother and his family. I do. I would have more questions about that. I thought he was going to ask her for a straight prenup, which to me yeah. is a clear yes. Uh, what happens if they have kids? Would he amend yeah. then the document to make sure that she and their children were taken care of if he passed? Yeah. What happens if they're together for a certain amount of time? 20 Five years. years. 10 years. 20 years. Would it be amended then so that a portion of his estate would go to her and a How portion How long would before go... it gets amended? Right. Like, yeah, that's the, valid. I would have questions about that because I don't think it's fair to enter into a relationship and then you're together for a long period of time, you have kids together, things like that, and you're not taken care of because, you know, mm -hmm. your partner's will states that everything goes to someone else like that would be stressful for me and i would want to i yeah. would want to know that so i don't know if that's the perspective she is coming from in terms of being a little bit taken aback okay. or not but i do think it's reasonable for him to be like right now we barely know each other if we sign this document and i die in you know six months like i don't want you to get everything that i've built yeah. in like my life at the expense like, of my not family fair. exactly yeah, and that i uh, care so I, deeply about right i can see both okay. it's just a bigger conversation to me than a like let's sit down and eat some food and like well, they have to say though. a yes show. no you know it's yeah. like a bigger oh, yeah, that's a bigger mean. financial it's like an conversation. ongoing conversation yeah yeah and like a, how do we structure this like you know, so that it makes sense and everyone is taken care of yeah. appropriately. Okay, I hear that. I think it also plays into her continued fears of rejection yeah. and abandonment. Right. Um, which is unfortunate because I would hope that in a, if she were more secure, she'd be like, yes, I'd want you to take care of your family. Right. And and then, and then even saying what you're saying, because I feel like there's just like an unhealthy communication there between the two of them, yeah. where in a, in a best case scenario, she'd be like, well, I'd hope that if we were together for a long time, exactly what you're saying, and we had kids that, that, I would be considered as well, yeah. but at the same time, I hear what you're saying, yeah. but instead it goes immediately to like, well, 
well, that's he's shitty. not serious about this. Yeah. Or he wouldn't immediately, or he doesn't trust me, or he wouldn't immediately mm-hmm. be suggesting that I would just be taking all of his assets and leaving his family high and dry. Realistically, you know? they shouldn't and won't get married, so none of this matters. Yeah. But the conversation, I think, is is still interesting to think about. It also, I think, brings up a lot of stuff about how complicated it is to figure out finances when yeah. you're getting married to someone and especially when you're getting married to someone that you haven't known for very long like we've never are, had to worry about it because we've just been struggling our anything, entire life right and we don't now yeah, so yeah <laughs> it's, it's really house easy for roof. us yeah. right <laughs> be up soon i also really didn't like the way that she interacted with sam at that party mm, i thought it was extremely disrespectful shit. Yeah, that was, that was out of control. Wild, out to of me. control. And I don't know. Part of me feels like she was doing it to get a rise out of Freddie, or to like see if he noticed, or to get him jealous. To get because she's feeling like she's not seen in that relationship. Yeah. But it is really toxic. I mean, that's behavior. a shitty thing to. Yeah, it's a toxic thing to Woo. do. And that's so. It, what it, the way it played out for me was she saw him. Cause mm-hmm. it, okay, it was she was mad at him from the early relationship stuff. She saw his house. And his life, like, liked him more either because she's vain and wants the wealth or because she saw him as a more mature adult. And then they went to the party. When they're going to the party, it felt like they were pretty okay, although she was saying she wasn't validated enough in her relationship. But then she immediately fixated on how attractive Sam was. She got frustrated that he didn't feel okay about that. And then she went and flirted with him. That whole thing just is like, there's so much unhealthy interaction and communication that I I fucking hate seeing it on screen. And I I want to stop. I know. And I want them to just break up already. I don't like it either. Yeah. I like, I struggle to understand, and maybe it doesn't matter, but I struggle to understand whether Kat isn't feeling validated by Freddie because of something Freddie is doing, or whether Kat would have a hard time feeling validated by anyone because yeah. of the, like, emotional burdens that and, she carries. And insecurities and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right. That is a good question. But it's hard to see because it's all we, all we have, so. And I will say, too when she brings up like the trauma that she has from being adopted, the way that it's edited, it, he doesn't seem particularly receptive to Mm. having that conversation or asking her more about like, he's just like, okay, moves on kind of thing. And I feel like that deserves, I hear that. Uh, Cause that's big. That's big. It is big big stuff. Yeah. Right. And it kind of gets glossed over in the show. At least. Yeah. They should say no. They're a terrible, they're terrible match. I don't like, I don't like their match at all. Ollie and Demi, green flags all the way. Hope they get married. Going great. I don't even know if I could say anything else. They're awesome. Going I like I, I get happy seeing them on screen. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Really, really, Fears really. Fears allayed. Glad that it went this way. Beautiful, adorable couple. It was nice seeing Ollie with like all the, I think he even said to one of his friends when they were at the party, because his friend was like, would your head turn? And then one, a beautiful woman walks in, right? Who is on the pod squad, yeah. Charlotte. Charlotte. And he says to his friend, like, yeah, there are people here that are beautiful. Like, of course, there are always going to be beautiful people. But like, this experiment happened to me for a reason. And like, I wouldn't want to give love Demi up. I love, I love I Demi. Wanna, yeah, right. Yeah. So like, it doesn't really matter how beautiful someone else is. Demi's beautiful. And I love her. Yeah. Which is like, so validating everything that I was hoping that we would see on the honeymoon is happening now. Yeah. It just was a little delayed it's because there's a hiccup in the middle. And that's fine. And some people just need more processing time. And it feels like that's, he just needed he a might, little bit he of might processing, need more processing time. time. Right. And I want to say too, that you can see Demi's insecurities starting to kind of melt away as well. They've evaporated. She did have a vibe about her where she was really insecure yeah. on that trip. Kind of like shrunk in. Yes. Yeah. And it doesn't, it seems like that is all yeah. gone now. And they yeah. seem very healthy together. And that's awesome. She's just hanging out, chilling. Mm-hmm. Her whole life laughing, is looking great. Having a good time. They're and laughing then she together. even she acknowledged she's like old Demi's back at the yeah. party. Which yeah. is amazing. I love that for them and I'm very, very happy for them. I love her redemption arc and like you got it. I think Sabrina and Steven still doing great. Still doing great. I don't think I have any problems with that. I no think issues. They're, they're sure yes. They're gonna get married. I picture them just like sitting at that same spot. They were sitting in front on the of, coast. Like, the, yeah, on the coast. Yeah. Like, but they're like thirty years older. You yeah, know? and just, it's like, like the, hands. the you know the mists coming in because <laughs> yeah. it's like early fall. Yeah. Right. The yeah. green countryside behind them. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. I really. And they're do in like real that. sharp jackets. <laughs> Maybe he's got a hat on. I yeah, they're really they're really sweet together, yeah. and I really like them. Um, and then Maria and Tom. <laughs> it's not it just it's not the worst thing in the world no it isn't but i think it's just probably a no and it should be a no i feel like 
I feel similarly about Tom to how I did about Ollie, just at different points, because yeah. Tom, I think, is was engaging a little bit too much in that conversation with Tasha. Yes. I feel like he's having... I, second thoughts is too strong, but I feel like he's having feelings about seeing yeah. Tasha and that whole scenario. Maybe he's feeling more of the flirtatiousness that he didn't think was there in the pods. Maybe. Like like the, the physical connection, because like where he connected with just Maria's voice, now he's getting the total image of Tasha yeah. and the way she smiles at him and what she says, and he's like, right. oh God, he had feelings there. Yeah, I think something sure. came came up that he wasn't expecting. Yeah. Yeah. And then as many times as Maria can say she doesn't care. She does. She does. Even just a little bit. Like, I'm not trying to say that... She's she, handling it well. She's handling it great. She's handling it really well. But, like, I, there's awkward. There's awkwardness yeah. there. I do respect him for being honest in the conversation with Maria, too, because you can see how uncomfortable he was yes. sharing that, but he got it out. He did. And and I he think did. we already talked about it. I think the gray areas were just sort of, how do you communicate things? Yeah. yeah. Communication's complicated. Right, it is. I don't think there's anything deceptive there. No, I don't think so either. Um, yeah, is that... That's Benaya what Nicole. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, Benaya I about is twisted right now. <laughs> I think Nicole handled herself really well throughout the day. I'm I trying think she to, did I don't, too. I'm, I don't know if I have any problems with that. I think Benaya got super heated. And I get... I get, because I sometimes get, like, really mad when I see people I love being, yeah. like, fucked over or something. And that yeah. almost makes me more angry when people are mean to me. Yep. And I feel like that's what Naya's experiencing right now. And I think that it's clouding his vision because he's seeing red. And, uh, yep. and I think that he might end up fixating on that. And that might get under his skin, which is what Sam wanted. And it was very unfortunate. I empathize a lot with Benaya because I've had times in my life where people that I love and care about are being manipulated by bad people. And I've been like, these people are bad, but it's, you can't force that on someone. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to force that on Nicole. And that's not right because Nicole has a different vision of how she perceives the situation with her and Sam going. She needs to come like Benaya can tell her his, which he has, but like when she came over and she was like, you know, Sam and I had, what we had was real for her it, it was, was real. Yeah. And then Benaya's like, it wasn't real. And You don't understand. Me... And she's like, don't invalidate my right. experience. Like, I've been the Benaya. Yeah. Like, you can't do that. Like, it's not fair for you to do that to another person. And it's not going to go well for you. Regardless. Yeah. I don't think that he's going to push it on her too much. Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like that's more just yeah. an internal thing for him at this point. Because Nicole's so. doing a really good job of being like, it's all dead. It's in the past. Yeah. She dropped off the bracelet. She showed up really well. Right. There she was did. no weirdness she there. So she's going to move on. And yeah. I think that he's going to be living in the past. Yeah. And he's going to be living in those emotions. I hope saying. that he can like move forward from it. Because I do think that what Benaya and Nicole have is it's great. It's a good connection. It's the Sam intervention is just unnecessary. Like, he doesn't need to exist for them yeah. do you know what i mean like they can move past this and he can be a tiny little blip that just happened in the past yeah. who cares and i really don't appreciate sam bringing up him and nicole's physical relationship before they even got uh, on a plane to corfu that's messed up i don't think he should have done it and i think he did it vindictively sam's an asshole yeah uh we did we are not even gonna talk about jasmine and bob because i don't think they did anything this episode there's nothing about that so, so we'll just we talk about them about? next episode and yeah. we know something about jasmine's mom i'm excited to see it <laughs> Thank you for watching the show with us. Uh, if you want to watch episode nine with us, please subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the like button if you made it this far because you probably liked it. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, tell us your thoughts in the comments. Uh, do you think similarly, differently? How do you feel about some of the like more controversial things that happened in this episode? You got a lot to pick from. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hey, we're gonna go on a cruise this summer. You should come with us. Now I'm looking for widow's peaks. Oh my god. No, it's just like, <laughs> you, know, you, you, learn, like you learn in like in high school biology and it's like, oh, you know, like these different like phenomic traits or whatever and you got like the widow's peak or the earlobe or like the tongue curling i just it always stuck with me like the different like those 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 weird little What's things the that tongue are curling some people can't curl their tongue don't you remember doing there's like a checklist that we did in our class where it's like can you curl your tongue are your earlobes attached or detached that really didn't stick with me as it much stuck as it with stuck me. with you it stuck <laughs> with me